Hi guys, I've got the computer on in the background so I'm sorry if there's a bit of a hiss from the fan. I thought I'd have a go at trying to take one of these faucet lights apart. The comments on YouTube say that they're particularly difficult to get apart because they're all sealed inside. So, I shall have a go. Looking inside of it, it's got some ridges go down the side that I assume help to align the... Um, whatever it is inside. I suppose it's going to be really easy. No. Well, first thing I'll do is I'll just saw the end off here so that we can see what it looks like. easy enough. <laughs> I thought that was supposed to be difficult. I expect the difficult bit is getting the next part apart. I can see now this is sealed in some sort of resin straight on the end of the what I'd call the motor. So that wasn't the difficult bit. It's the next bit that's difficult. So I'll just clean this dust away and we'll have another go. So this is the fellow we want to get apart. So it looks like there's about, so that, about five millimeters there of this white silicon or whatever it is. Just play with my magnet for a second. Right, so it's working at this point in time. It won't be working much longer when I cut through this, I should think. I'll try and cut it right along here. I bought three of these lights so I could try and get at least one of them into a condition where I can use it. didn't make much difference did it? So next thing, should we just cut this plastic? Right then. Right. Well, at least we can see what's inside now. So we've got a couple of coils. 
we've still got all that stuff sealed on the end. guess I've probably already sawn through the wires that feed from the coil to the back because we're not getting the LED light now so that's bad news but at least we can see what's inside It does look like that's where the two wires went through. I don't expect the camera will focus. But there's definitely the there's some copper colour just there, which happens to be exactly where I've put the saw through. So, what's next? We try and nibble away at this stuff, see what it is. So clearly see the copper wire in there. So that doesn't look very hopeful. One of the surface mounted components is now just there. That says, I think that says D3, so that's probably also a diode, which is logical. It's probably a rectifier bridge there. And I think I can see. Well, clearly there's one wire there. That looks like another one just there. It looks like a wire went round that way. I guess the only thing I can do is see if I can get something to make contact with that little bit of wire that's just showing its head there and this bit of wire. Right, summary time. I uh, have to admit defeat this time. I very carefully extended all the tails of the wires that I could find sticking out of the resin here and tested them all for continuity and none of them work so 
I've obviously damaged the wires taking it apart, which was not unexpected. Uh, so say the warnings are that it's incredibly difficult to get these apart and make them useful. I've got two more, so I may have another go. But I think I'll stop there on this video. At least it's good enough for you to actually see what's inside the faucet light. And you will also know now where the likely problems are. That you've got these very fine wires coming from the coils. And they're sealed in that resin. So the chances of getting them apart are very slim. What I think I might do is see if I can find anything that will actually dissolve that resin. Because if we can do that, that would make life a lot easier. So I might try and do that before I try and take another one apart. Very quickly, an easy way to get this out compared to the way that I just did it was I straightened out a paper clip here and if you jam it through the holes at the end there and give it a push then we're out. No need to do all that clever sawing around the edges. But we've still got the problems you'll find later. Which is the wires are actually sealed into the resin here. So unless we can find some way of dissolving the resin it's not going to be easy to get this apart and keep it working because those wires are going to break.